Hello baby, how are you? You okay baby? Hey guys, good morning! So, I'm here at Glen Eagles, um, in Tun Hospital. Um, I'm about to go up for my checkup with my gynecologist. Um, I was instructed to actually come on the 12th of May, which is today, 12th of May 2021, to go for my final checkup before my surgery, which is on May 18th, 2021, next week. So, I'm not sure what they need from me today, but I hope everything goes well smoothly. And yeah, so I'll update you guys in a bit what we're, what happened or what I need to do or what I need to prep. So see you guys. We're gonna admit me. The counter reception. Okay, take a number. Free admission. Hey guys, so we did it. Um, we admitted me and we admitted Joel. <laughs> pre admission. <laughs> it's our pre admission. So everything is set and ready. I just have to appear on that day. But here's the thing guys, because of the COVID issue, I will not be able to have any other visitors and any other person around me except this except handsome me. guy. Yeah, and unfortunately he's unable to leave the hospital until I get discharged. So I'm basically quarantined here as well. <laughs> he's gonna be on lockdown within the lockdown. hospital grounds. Family, my family won't be able to visit and so will my friends, but I what to do? Wifi. I'm sure there's Wi-Fi. Yeah, okay. should be. And these are the room rates. Oh, the room rates are here. So here's the thing, we can't share rewards as well with people because of the COVID situation. So if I'm going to have my husband around me, we had to take a single room. So Joel's going to go camping with me for three days. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, so wish me luck guys. I'll be talking more about this um, fibroid awareness in a little bit. Hey guys, what's up? So today is May 15th, 2021 and as I mentioned in my previous video, um, we are back here today for our swab test, um, basically COVID test. Um, yeah, we're back in the hospital for that. <laughs> Yeah, that's so, it's so exciting. It's so exciting. I'm nervous because we're like three days away from my surgery. But I'm kind of excited as well. I'm basically anticipating for this season to be over. And I can't wait to get my fibroid removed and looking forward to like better days ahead. So we are going to go for our COVID test right now okay. and we'll let you know of our results. So we got our forms. And we're back here in Glen Eagles Hospital, Malaysia. So, let's go. Gonna go take a test. Is your yes, okay. Sorry. Is it it's okay. It's okay. Good yeah. <laughs> So unfortunately, they don't allow us to record inside a doctor's school me. So good luck, Joel. Mine was not too bad. <laughs> You're tearing, though. No? Yeah, because it's poking inside. How oh, deep? Good luck. Really deep. Like, how deep? Like, it's deep. Fancy, eh? Oh, there you go. Huh? <laughs> you crying? Okay, so we just had our COVID test. What a weird feeling and sensation. We will be getting our result. 
um, in like 24 to 72 hours. To 48 hours. Oh, to 48 hours. So they will be forwarding the result to Thank my you, gynecologist, Doctor. Dr. Ravi. But uh, yeah, we'll wait for that because my operation or my surgery date depends on the results of my COVID test. So praying for the negative result because we never know. And uh, yeah, so get yourselves checked, guys. Very important. And hopefully, nothing is found so we can continue with the surgery yep, confirmed right. date on May 18th. If you're going for operation, there's no choice. You gotta take the test. Yes, you need to take the test. Hey guys, good morning. It's 6 ish a.m., and my admission is at 6 30. We're here at the hospital. Since there's no visitors allowed, a family came to see me <laughs> before I go for my staycation. Good morning. Good morning. Mama. Good morning, Kaya. I'm going for a staycation <laughs> with Joel. Happy day, Joel. Show me your hand. <laughs> Goodbye. will be here to give me the drugs <laughs> yeah so um, my doctor as well came in gynecologist came in and um, yeah prepped me so I think I'm in good hands and above all God is in control so I'm just looking forward to really feeling better feeling better about all this Okay, so I'm really excited because I've never like really been on a hospital bed before and this is the fun part. You see this like this buzz, right? Here we go. Isn't it cool? <laughs> I finally get to be the one on it. Oh, that's really cool. I don't cool. my mom, sorry. <laughs> anesthesia doctor just came in his name is Dr. Santiago uh, so he did just inform me the reason why I'm so happy and so calm right now is because there's no need for spinal anesthesia and I'm only in need of general anesthesia and um, he explained he's just gonna put something here like a scratch I don't know what scratch means to doctors but okay um, and it will basically slowly let me sleep and uh, yeah, he's just informing me of like the tubing necessary in the operating room and stuff, but I will be totally knocked out, so that's good. I'm very happy that um, it's not spinal anesthesia, and now I'm more relaxed. Plus, I think they just gave me happy medicine. <laughs> Take this. Alright, so Chris will be going in soon. Yes. Flip the camera. <laughs> They're coming to get me soon. 
coming in to get you. Here we go. Goodbye. Hello, baby. How are you? You okay, baby? Okay, It's okay. This is from your mommy and your family. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, they're downstairs. We thought it's gonna be later. So fast, it's less than two hours. It's okay, take your rest. How are you feeling this morning? Good morning. Good morning. I'm feeling a little nauseous more than yesterday, I think. I keep waking up every hour. Yeah, because I think it's the medicine thingy. I know. Um, so, <clears throat> Dr. Ravi just came in to check on everything. He informed me actually I had few little cysts on my ovaries as well as well but he already removed it so i'm all clear he did say that the, the fibroid was like the size of a tennis ball so i'm just grateful that it's all clear now yeah and then wrote the recovery sore throat still here it's hard to talk Glad to hear it. First meal in three days. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been having soup and barley, and now I put something more solid. This, this porridge. Some bread. And I put some omelette. Mm, that's nice. I'm a little better today, a little stronger. So they took off my catheter, and later I'm gonna need to walk a little bit. Through the day, it's gonna be a challenging one. I feel much better than yesterday. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. How's the porridge? It's just right. <laughs> you know, there's funny. this fairy tale, right? Goldilocks and the Tree Bells. It's too hot. It's too cold. But this one is just right. Hmm. Wow, look at that. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. What would you like for your soft diet? I'd like two hamburgers, please. Oh, wait. It's not on the list. Hold on. Let me read it out. One large pizza. Diabetic. Low salt. Low fat. Low cholesterol, fat free, milk free, protein, low Korean protein. Barbecue beef. Kimchi. 
I've been starving for two days, guys. So today's the first meal I had in two days. Like literally, I only had soup and barley. It's a horrible experience. Yeah, so I'm glad I'm eating a bit more of food now. We can do this one more day. One more day. All right, look who's out. Thank you, girl. So, cut it out. You're off from all the drip and all the injection. There's oh, no more injection. It's all wrong now. All right. Just resting for today. Man can go home tomorrow. Yay. All right. As I say, I'll be back here for this coffee. Coffee bot. All right. Let's go. Step. All right, let's try caramel latte. Oh, let's try hazelnut latte. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wear your mask. Look at that. Right, let's go for a walk. Let's go ice skating guys. Let's go play badminton. Cannot. Right, today is your last day. Day four, discharging soon. Good morning. I feel better. Uh, still in so much pain around here, but can walk better I think. Let's go. Wow, you're actually walking faster. Mm-hmm. You don't realize you're walking faster? So these are your medication yes. for the next five days. Yes, and then I have to see the doctor to check up on my stitches. Yeah. It's what's going to help me survive the next five days. Actually, no, this one is one week. So. Alright, that's great. Yeah. I think after Let's that survive I the next five days at home. Mm -hmm. mm, can't wait to go home. Watch Netflix. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright, we're ready for checkout. Okay, let's go. Alright, 
so I'm going to pick up Chris now from the hospital. I just uh, finished paying the parking bill. So now I gotta go around the hospital and pick her up. Let's go. There she is. Alright, and here she is. Okay guys, I'm in the car, made it to the car, now I have to make it home. Got my personal chauffeur. Ouch, the bumpers. Yeah, How's we're it? going home. We're going home. Let's go. Hey guys, so it's day five of my recovery from my open myomectomy. I'm just home, I'm on my couch, and I'm comfy. So we got home yesterday, and uh, I had a bit of trouble walking, but last night I really slept so well uh, for the first time, like six to eight hours like straight sleep without any interruption. So I'm feeling really good today, I'm walking faster. Than yesterday, um, less pain. Um, also, Joel washed my hair today, <laughs> so I'm really blessed because he's so good at it. And um, we've been getting lots of love from everyone, from our family, our friends. So thank you so much for that, guys. Sending food over, and flowers, and gifts. So overwhelming, and I'm already better. I feel better already, but um. I can't wait for the season to be over and be completely, you know, be able to move freely. So yeah, this is the progress today, day five. Hey guys, it's day seven. Right. We just finished going back to my gynecologist for the update after one week since the surgery. There's an update and I will show you guys in a while, but it's kind of noisy out here. So I'll tell you in a little bit. Joel wants to show me that famous vending machine. Coffee, coffee machine vending machine. That he's been going to when yes. I was in the ward. What is coffee and jam without coffee? Yeah, exactly. So where where is this coffee machine you were talking about? It's just down right here on in block B. Next block. Alright. Okay. That's pretty cool, right? Yes, that is so cool how Look you can that. actually do this. Choose your coffee. There we go. Brewing awesomeness. Oh, that's so awesome. No wonder you enjoy going out of the ward, huh? Having your coffee breaks. Now you know what I was going through? It's pretty cool. Alright, please collect your drink. Put on your mask, guys. Right? Stay safe, everyone. Okay, so now Joel is ordering his. Right. <laughs> Can't have enough of this, huh? Yep, let's go. Let's see. What do we have? Okay, it's done. Oh, look at that. Go. Got yours? Stay safe, everyone. Follow them, guys. Okay, guys, so we just got home from the hospital for another checkup with my gynecologist, and what happened was all he did was he's just taken out the stitches and the tapes that were supporting my incision everything's good so the plaster has been taken off it's just like a gauze on it right now and uh, yeah basically they gave us my lab report of the findings that they took out of me 
um, everything is good, it's non-cancerous, so I'm really happy about that news. And I'm supposed to like return to the clinic after a month. So anyway, so day 7 update, I am up walking about. As you can see, Joel and I just enjoyed our coffee, short coffee vlog date there. And yeah, it's been a great experience. It's been uh, life changing for me, like my outlook on my health and um, how I how I want to deal with it in the future. It's totally changed. So I hope that my vlog will encourage a lot of women and um, my journey in this open myomectomy surgery can actually encourage a lot of other women like me who might be going through the same problem go for the operation you would really feel much happier and much healthier after it and also it's a good thing to, pr to just avoid other further complications you know so thank you once again for watching my vlog and I think I'll update about a few months or a month later and see how I'm feeling so anyway guys do look out for my upcoming awareness video about what is a fibroid and why do we need to know more about it and yeah that will be coming right after this so stay tuned for that it will be on my end screen but thank you so much for for joining me on my journey and to those who helped me encouraged me and also prayed for me i thank you all thank you all so much god bless everyone and i'll see you guys soon in the next video but that's it for now toodles